let's start. For the yoga today, we're gonna need a block and a bolster. A bolster is this long pillow, as you see. If you don't have a bolster, you can use a block and then something on top, like this blanket or a towel or a big towel to create something nice and comfy a little bit higher than the floor if you don't have a yoga block just grab a big book heavy book so you can get a bit of this height just to get your thing better at today's yoga we're gonna use some of the yin yoga poses just to release more tension and more energy that we might have gathered for the last couple of days. Okay, we're gonna start in our all fours. So bring your hands under your arms and your knees hip width wide underneath your sacrum, your pelvis. Tuck the toes under and let's start with a little cat and cow vinyasa. Inhale, lift your tailbone and top of your head, crown of the head up toward the sky. And exhale, spread your collarbones, your vertebrae, lift all your spine up toward the sky, stretching in a nice fashion. Inhale, head and tailbone up. Exhale, head and tailbone down. Four more times, connect it with your breath. Inhale up. Exhale down. Start to look for the maximum extension in your spine. Check how your shoulder blades feel. When you're here in a cow pose, you might bring them down together and here spread them away from each other. Great. One more time, inhale and exhale. Great. Come back to your all fours and start doing circles with your head. And that's gonna create bigger and bigger circles. So the rest of your spine will follow. Feel that you want to nourish all your vertebrae and second side. This fluid movement is connected with the water energy, the water element. And as tomorrow we have a pretty strong new moon in Pisces. Uh, Pisces astrology sign which means this is a water sign so this fluidity also the fluidity of emotions might flow even more okay and slowly st find steadiness all fours bring your sit bones back but crown of your head front keep your navel gently tucked in to create a nice strong lumbar spine area and belly area Great, and next, inhale, stretch your left leg behind you. Feel that your heel goes toward the wall, wall behind you and then from your heel toward the crown of your chest, nice straight line. And then with your right foot, put it a little bit outside of the mat. Put your left heel down and with your next inhale, stretch your left hand up toward the sky. Find one line from right toward your left hand. You might tuck your finger together. I mean, stretch them and bring them together and stretch the whole hand up toward the sky. Great, look up, tuck your navel, stretch your spine and breathe. Breathe one, breath 
second and breath first and next exhale bring your left hand down lift your heel stretch your right leg find yourself in a plank pose and then slowly come front exhale bend your elbows come all the way down and stretch your legs sorry for my cut by the way next inhale come to the baby cobra which means go as high as you can do it without using your hands hands are here just for your support and feel that you want to stretch and brighten your collarbones think about them as they are smiling here and exhale go down next inhale come a bit higher you can push your hands down and exhale all the way down the last time inhale a bit higher and exhale next inhale also bring your pelvis up and then go on your heels stay in a child's pose for a few breaths feel how this energy of the earth is stabilizing you is stabilizing your emotions bring this flow kind of to the end brings calmness and grounding if your head cannot touch the ground you might use your block or book under or something under your heels so please try different methods just to feel yourself calm and stable and relaxed and kind of without all those fluctuations of different emotions and thoughts what is called in buddhism monkey mind And let's do the same on the second side. Lift your head, come to your all fours again. Find stable position on your hands and knees and then stretch your right leg behind you. Push your heel back, we're stretching the calf, strong belly, tucked navel and stretch crown of your head. Then your left leg might go behind the mat, I mean, off the mat right heel down next inhale and lift your right head sorry i'm a bit too much back left with your right you might touch your old finger stretch your leg find one line from left to right hand tuck your navel in and now think about tailbone going toward your right heel find a steadiness strong position find the flow of your breath great and the last inhale with your exhale bring your hand down move your feet parallel to each other and stretch your left leg heels back tuck the navel and stretch your crown of the hand front go down release your feet release your head on the ground and here let's go into locust just to strengthen the lower spine bring both of your hands on your sacrum it's the bone that connects pelvis with your spine one over another one and with the next inhale lift your elbows and your head up look at the front of your mat so we're not looking front 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 and down 45 degrees angle exhale down release your elbows inhale up and exhale down two more times inhale exhale inhale and exhale you might change your hand so the one that was down goes up and three more times here inhale exhale and 
and then slowly bring your hands next to your chest. Inhale to a full cobra and once again find yourself in a child's pose for three or four breaths. Inhale and tuck your head up. Come on your all fours. But this time take your bolster on your yoga mat. Mm -hmm. Come again on your all fours, tuck your toes. Of course, you can always use that support. And come to your downward facing dog. You might walk first your heels, just to stretch back of your knees and what is more important, release your head on this block, on this bolster, sorry, just to help you align and connect with the earth even more. When you're in downward facing dog, stretch your shoulder blades away from each other. And at one point start to bring all the heel, the heels, both of the heels down. Keep your navel nice and strong. Stretch shoulder blades even more. Great. And then come back on your knees and go back to your child's pose. But this time you might use your block just to stay here in a super nice and comfy position. Put your head on one side, then after a couple of breaths on the second side. Breathe nice and strong, connect yourself with the grounding energy of the earth. Feel the support that the earth is giving you in those harsh moments. And one more time, come to your all fours, but this time take your bolster away. Oops. And come to downward facing dog. This time start to just be here. Stay here without any movement, without any fluctuations and changes. If it's hard for you, you can always bend your knees a bit more or come to your all fours and then start again. Great. And then start walking your heels and bring your feet toward hands. Feet, you might bring them closer together or hip with white, whatever is more comfortable for you. Bend your knees and let yourself hang your loose. You might dangle your head right and left, front and, front and back, great. Bend your knees so you feel comfortable and supported. And then start to wiggle your hands. I'm a bit bendy, like a bendy wendy, so I go a bit higher and just hanging you loose just let your hands wiggle and stretch and just be and then slowly slowly start to find stillness you may stretch your sit bones up toward the sky if it's too hard, too stretchy for your hamstrings, bend your knees a bit more. But you can also feel them stretched all the way up. Breathe normally. If you know that you have very, very low pressure, you might come a bit higher, bending your elbows, putting them on your knees. Otherwise, stay here for another four breaths. 
Uttanasana Forward Bend. Bend your knees and one vertebrae at a time make what is called a knee dance rollay. So roll your spine up towards standing. Let it take few breaths. Just let <clears throat> spine and your pressure align. Thank you with your eyes closed. You might bring your weight to the right, to the left. Feel all your feet grounded when you take the weight from it and on it. And then a bit front and back. And slowly blink, open your eyes and stretch your hands over your head. Feel that you're stretching from the heel toward the tip of your fingers. Look up in between your hands. Great. Stretch your belly, but also stretch your lumbar spine. So we're not trying only to stretch this part, but also the back part. Great. And exhale, bend your knees, come to a chair pose. In the chair pose, keep your knees under your feet so we're not going much, much front. Think about bringing your hips back. And then stretch your lumbar, tuck your navel. You can bring your hands parallel to the floor or up toward the sky. Great. One more breath in. And release all the way down your belly, on your legs, on your thighs. Inhale, come to Arda. Half forward bend. Your spine over the ground, release your hands. Take a big step with your left. Put your knee down on the floor. Stretch your fingers and your toes. And come up. Great. Gently push the floor away using your heel, then tuck your navel and stretch your table toward the left knee. You see what I'm doing here? I go up, I keep my pelvis nicely aligned, and with this aligned pelvis, I'm going front. Put your hands on your knee, breathe toward your iliopsoas muscle, great. And let's add a little bit more. Inhale and lift your left and exhale, bend to your right. Your right hand might be here or you might find the floor or a bolster. Maybe I'll show you here. I'm touching something here to stretch even more. Great. And come both hands up. Exhale, hands down. Come on your all fours, or this time into plank. And exhale, go all the way down. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, go to your downward facing dog. Stretch your sit bones away from your hands. And breathe normally. Nice and deep, long. And then look front and take a big step with your left. Right knee to the floor and you might stretch to come up. Use your leg muscles to go even more up. Tuck your tailbone down. <clears throat> navel in and then come a bit closer front to stretch the upsides on the second side 
two deep breaths in here and out. And then lift your right, exhale, come to your left, bend to your left. And as you see, you might be a bit higher. Or look for the floor, for your bolster. Just to bend a bit more, stretch this right side a bit more deeper. One more time, come all the way up and exhale, release your hands. One more time, all fours. And come to half plank or full plank, exhale down. Inhale, move up into Cobra. And exhale, child's pose. The one you like the most. Two breaths in your child's pose. And slowly roll back to your all fours. And come sitting to the front and now we're gonna use our magical bolster <clears throat> so if you have it bring it right behind you you're gonna go like down stretch your legs or, or maybe not first keep them bent it's gonna be much easier for your spine slowly roll down as you feel the back of your head reaching your mat. If it's not possible, if you feel too much tension in your neck when you do it, use your blanket <clears throat> or a towel under your head and stretch your hands wide or use what is called a cactus pose, right angle in your elbows and now stretch your legs. Bring all your breath into the belly area. Feel that the breath in goes almost towards the base of your spine. And exhale, releasing all the inner organs, massaging them with your breath, with a movement of your diaphragm. your mind wanders come back bring your attention to your breath to your body reaching the base of your spine on the inhale nice massage in the organs with your diaphragm movement and exhale release everything that doesn't serve you anymore very very slowly release your feet bend your knees and bring your one elbow toward the second and come to a fetal pose on your one side and push to come back into sitting and that was our last pose for today let's go straight into the meditation 
in your meditation you might still use the uh, bolster or your block to sit comfortably and a bit higher if sitting is not comfortable for you you might come toward the wall so you feel support of the wall or use the same position like we did but with your bolster here uh, with the help of something to create here a nice steep in the pose what is called Subtabada Konasana lying on this pose but if you feel like supporting people in your meditation pose find yourself sitting let me just take these Find a position where your knees are under level of your hips. So this is this one is perfect for me. Find your two sit bones and then push them down to release tension in your spine, reaching toward the sky. Take a deep breath in and with your next exhale, close your eyes. Once again, connect with your breath. And feel that your breath in is reaching toward your pubic bone and sit bone, the base of your spine. Something that is called a sacral diaphragm find out if your breath has any tension maybe structure color how you can describe your breath. Observe it without any changes. take your right hand and put it under your left armpit and your left under your right squeeze your chest with your fingers thumbs are reaching toward the center and when you breath breathe in feel that you're squeezing it like a little balloon and exhale release the tension in your hands close your chest Inhale toward your hands and exhale, release. Then change your hands so the one that was down goes up. Once again, <clears throat> squeeze your chest, inhale, and exhale, release. Pada Dhyarshasana, it's a very nice pranayama, connecting your right and left side of the body and hemispheres of the brain, keeping you balanced, connected with yourself with the earth through the main nadi the channel energy channel called shushumna nadi one more time deep breath in and out 
and release your hands, this time facing up. Now observe your mind, any thoughts appearing, just let them be and wait for the next one until you're gonna create or feel an empty space without any thoughts, any plans, any challenges, any words. a blank piece of paper ready for your words ready to receive space let's create an intention then the tension is my energy or my thought is reaching to anyone who needs my support my intention thought or energy is reaching to anyone that needs my support You may repeat this sentence verbally or non-verbally inside your mind like a mantra to feel that you're the one with an intention that you're reaching to somebody who needs your support because you're there for him or for her. It might be someone fighting or a child, a mother running away or anyone in the world that you're thinking of. your next breath start to feel whatever is around you any sounds any smells anything you touch then 
and slowly put your one hand on your chest cover it with with your second take a deep breath in exhale tuck your chin to your chest stretching back of your neck mind is bowing toward your heart And stay here as much you want listening to the sound of my singing bowl After the sound is gone, slowly and gently blink open your eyes. Discover that maybe space around you seem, seems brighter or bigger or better or just more calm because this is how you feel now. Thank you. Hari Om Om Tat Sat. Namaste.